Now to a Fox 35 News investigation. We've been digging into airboat safety since two of those boats collided at Wild Florida yesterday. More than a dozen people were hurt. Fox 35's Manny Martinez is live at Wild Florida today. So, Manny, you looked, you looked into what it takes to become a commercial airboat captain. That's right, John. The, we did. We looked into those requirements to become an airboat captain, and we found that it takes specific training here in the state of Florida. And then data here from this state report shows that airboats account for a small portion of boating accidents statewide. The crash on Cypress Lake is Florida's 10th reported airboat accident this year. The state's Wildlife Commission says there were 37 such accidents last year, accounting for just 5% of total reported boating accidents in Florida. Skyfox drone footage shows wild Florida's airboats stowed away. The company says all airboat activities are suspended until further notice. Airboats like this one can get up to 40 miles an hour. And to become a state certified captain, the Wildlife Commission requires a three day course specific to these boats. Prospective commercial airboat captains have 12 places statewide to choose from to take the course. One of them is Camp Holly Airboat Rides in Melbourne. Owner Curtis McKinney says it's intensive training with one day in the classroom and two days on the water. It's very detailed from the book and practical application from whenever you get into the testing side of it. The book specifies certain things you will do, you will test. Commercial airboat operators also need a captain's license from the Coast Guard, as well as CPR and first aid training. Alertness is the biggest thing that we train here at our facility. We sort of kind of run a cycle. We run a circuit. We don't ever deviate from our circuit. We don't ever deviate from our spacing. Most of our boats are ran at a specific time between each boat and every boat runs in the same direction. Wild Florida says it gives riders life jackets and earplugs while the company's airboats don't have an age limit. The Coast Guard inspects small commercial vessels and confirmed to Fox 35 both Wild Florida airboats involved in the crash held certificates of inspections. I'm very familiar with Wild Florida. I've even had a couple of their boat captains that work for me occasionally, and some of them work for me full time. So I can tell you this, they produce good captains. They're a good company. They're a very professional company, and I have nothing but uh, grief for them based on the situation that they're at currently. The FWC led the rescue operation with help from Osceola County Fire and EMS. It's the United States Coast Guard that will lead the crash investigation. Live in Osceola County, Manny Martinez, Fox 35 News.